Hi, I'm Daniel from Forward Audio. In the audio community, there's always big confusion about the terms being out of phase, phase cancellation, and comp filter. Many technicians apply common sense, but often they are unsure how to deal with it. Let's start with a more fundamental question. What is phase? The word phase describes the actual position of a periodic process, for example, a sine wave. A possible phase offset between two waves with the exact same frequency can be described between 0 and 360 degree within a period. If two sine waves with a phase offset are mixed together, they are cancelling each other out. This phenomenon is called phase cancellation. Ok, so this is the theory. But how does it happen in your recording session? In this setup, we have a speaker and two microphones. The first microphone has a constant distance of one foot to the speaker. The second mic will have variable distances. We'll use white noise to get a good impression of the phase cancellation occurring in this setup. What you are hearing is the so-called comp filter effect. In the whole frequency spectrum, different notch frequencies with 180 degree phase offset and peak frequencies with 360 degree phase offset occur, resulting in a heavy distortion of the original signal. Keep in mind that this horrible distortion is always present when you record a sound source with more than one microphone whenever the distance of the microphones to the sound source are not equal. And that's the case in most of the situations. The negative consequences are an altered pitch perception, an altered room impression, localization problems and of course the distortion itself. One of the misleading concepts is to call it a phase offset or phase issue. Actually, the term phase is always bound to a specific frequency. Therefore, you can't generally talk about a phase offset between two microphones. It would be more precise to call it a time difference. Besides of the distances between microphones, the volume difference is also very important. A recent study called On the Audibility of Comp Filter Distortions showed that calm filters are audible up to a volume difference of 18 dB. Another important insight of the study is the fact that different sound sources have different perception levels. A snare, for example, has the highest audibility of the calm filter distortions, whereas a piano has a 5 dB lower perception threshold. Furthermore, the highest threshold of perception occurs between a delay time of 0.5 milliseconds and 3 milliseconds. Or a microphone distance between 6 inches and 3 foot. Imagine what this means to your average drum recording. The question is, how can we deal with it? Do we have to avoid these critical microphone distances? And the answer is, no, not necessarily. I am now inserting our plugin FA Fractional Delay into the first microphone track to compensate the one foot distance between each microphone. As you can see, if the time differences between both signals are correctly compensated with a sample delay, no comp filtering or phase cancellations take place. With this method, you can get rid of these kind of phase issues very easily. Of course, the time alignment gets increasingly complex the more microphones are in use. A drum recording, for example, is harder to handle than a guitar recording. But we will cover up these cases in future tutorials. Also, keep in mind that comp filters occur in other situations. This is an example of an acoustically caused comp filter. 
it's caused by the time delay that's produced by acoustical reflections. These kind of comp filters are present in every recording session and can only be reduced by acoustical treatment and a good microphone placement. In your control room, acoustical comp filters occur caused by the reflection of the monitor sound on your desk. So even in your control room, it's a good idea to check different setups for comp filtering issues. Let's summarize. Comp filters are created when copies of a source signal with a time variation are mixed together. This can occur in a non-acoustical environment by electrical or digital summing of audio signals or acoustically by reflection of sound waves. Both result in a frequency dependent cancellation or summing of the original. Acoustical comp filters can be minimized by acoustical treatment and taking care of mic placement. Non-acoustical can be time aligned with audio plugins like FA Fractional Delay or FA Sample Delay. One solution that is not part of this video is the use of the so-called phase switch. This topic will be covered in another video which you can find right here. If you have some more questions about phase cancellation or want to see some other experiments, feel free to make a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.